For 12 hours a day, Private Patrick Halley carried out hazardous operations during the Vietnam War. He was a door gunner and his crew had a range of tasks from supply missions to medical evacuations behind enemy lines. I said I had bad experience. I never thought it would be as rough as it was. I thought well, you would just sit down and hang on to a gun. The then 20-year-old served with a small group of Australians attached to the 135th Assault Helicopter Company, which was an experimental unit in Vietnam nicknamed EMU. It was made up of pilots and air crew from the United States Army and the Royal Australian Navy. You look at their motto, get the bloody job done, uh, and that's exactly what they did. No more, no less. They adapted, they overcame everything that was thrown at them, and they did the job to the best of their ability. The Vietnam veteran has finally been awarded for his service and received his gunner's wings 53 years after coming home. Congratulations, Pat. Thank you. Nine door gunners had been recognised long ago, but it took the Australian Defence Force five decades to find the tenth. I never realised there was such a thing until one of the blokes in the company wrote a book about memorabilia. And I had a look in there and there was uh, nine names on the list. It just takes time for these things, so the uniqueness of the situation in a, uh, in a warlike uh, operation. Records weren't computerised back then, so it just took people to read through archives. Those who served with Mr Halley couldn't be prouder. He's really good. He was a good soldier and, and his job when, yeah. I'm very pleased for him. The Fleet Air Arm Museum in Nowra in New South Wales now has all ten names on their honour wall. Liz Gwynn, ABC News.